What are some of the latest developments in the family history industry? How is genealogy changing and improving? Well, let me tell you, at Roots Tech, you often have the companies releasing their latest and greatest. And having just been there, I want to share with you what they've added to their platforms, as well as some of the new up and coming stuff and how that might affect you, including artificial intelligence and how that can be used in genealogy research effectively. So stick with me. I'm Amy Cross. I want to help you take your genealogy to the next level. And in order to do that, you need to know what is going on. Let's start with Family Search. Now, Family Search sponsors Roots Tech, and so they always gear a lot of really big announcements for their genealogy conference. So let's start there. One of the things that I'm really excited about is the new cemetery feature. Now, the reason why I like this is it's kind of a one-stop shop. It has find a grave information on it, it has billion graves information on it, and it also has other information on it. And if you are part of the family search tree, it will tell you if your ancestors are in a particular cemetery. But if you are not in the family search tree, because some people don't want to do that, that's cool. This is still really helpful for you. It can show you the cemeteries that are around you. So I've done a whole separate video on this new feature that was released at Roots Tech, and you want to check that video out. I'm going to give you a link to that at the end of this video. So that's a big one. The second one that I really love is they've added in, and it's kind of in development, full text searching. Now you might say, what's the deal with full text searching? Who cares? Why is that important? Let me tell you why it's important. Okay, when you're doing difficult genealogy, you are living in deeds and probate records and other types of records that have not yet been indexed. And sometimes when records are indexed, even when they're indexed, they are missing some of the other people that may be listed in the record. Well, with the development of AI, Family Search has indexing their deeds and wills and probate records full text. Okay, why does this matter? Why is this such a big deal? If you're researching somebody that was enslaved, the way that you find out more about them is you find them in the papers of the people that enslaved them. And it's really hard to find these people. As a matter of fact, at Roots Tech, I went to the Family History Library the day before Roots Tech started, and I spent the better portion of a day looking at these types of records for a project that I'm doing for a client whose ancestors were enslaved. Guess what? The next day, I found out that I could have used their new feature that was released that day and saved myself a boatload of time. So this is a huge thing and you want to check this out. In addition, with having AI really assist full text searching, AI is also making language translation huge. So FamilySearch is translating a lot of their documents now into other languages so that if you have family that perhaps lived in Germany, um, you're gonna be able to get a translation of it a lot easier. That is like killing it, love that. Family groups, family groups is a new thing from Family Search. Um, a lot of the big guys are doing this. It allows you to work as a group. Now on Family Search, how does it work? On Family Search, you co collect a group, and the reason why I really like it on Family Search is when you build a tree on Family Search, the living people are private to your tree only, and other people can't see them. If I'm working on the Family Search tree, and I have like my dad in there who is still alive, my daughter has my dad who is still alive in her tree as well, but they're two separate individuals. And we're not sharing that information. Once you hit into people that are deceased, this is a collaborative effort, effort I'll get there, and everybody is working on it. But before that, it's separate. With your family group, you can all share a tree and see the living people in your family tree, whatever tree you have shared in the group. Plus, you can send notes to one another, kind of comment to one another, kind of like Facebook. You can share pictures that are private to the group. So if you have people, pictures of living people that you don't necessarily want out there for the world to see, you could share them in this group. And then finally, they're going to add an app this year. If you're a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, in those family groups, you can also share temple work. So there's a lot of things about the family search groups that's kind of cool. They also added a new family search helper. And what that does is, again, this is run with AI. Um, you type in whatever you want and it's gonna search their help information as well as the family search wiki. It's a great resource for obtaining help, you know, trying to figure out how do I research this? You can put that into the family search helper. One of the other things that they're working on, this is totally in beta testing. 
It's definitely something that is just starting. You're not gonna see it in the tree, but they have a profile score now that they're adding to people. And the reason that they're doing this is to try to lock down the tree and to try to help recognize when there may be mistakes in the tree. Now, right now, this is based on things like, do they have records attached to them? Or have they made common mistakes, like a parent isn't the proper age to be a parent, something like that. Um, that is coming, and I think that's gonna go a long way to helping out the tree. In addition to the tree, they're also working on some new merge tools, which will make merges be better and more efficient as well as more correct. And so I'm loving seeing some of this work that they're doing to improve the family search tree. Now, most of this new stuff that I'm talking about to you is in kind of beta testing still. It's not really out there, but you can get to it by looking at this family search labs. They're on the right hand side of your screen. You can click on that and then you can look at some of the different tests and some of the different features that they're kind of rolling out or that they're beta testing right now. So check it out. Now talking about AI, that was also a big topic. There were a lot of presentations on how AI is being used in family history and genealogy research. And some people are kind of like, eh, I don't wanna talk about family, you know, about AI, it's scary, da 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 da. Or they found that AI wasn't giving them really reliable results when they were using it in their family history research. There's some really great stuff that's going on, not only helping these big companies like FamilySearch, Ancestry, MyHeritage, Find My Past, better handle their records, make more available to you, index, blah, blah, blah. AI can also be used in your personal genealogy research. I have an upcoming video on this very topic that I did at Roots Tech. So subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified of when that video is gonna release. Now Ancestry had made a lot of big announcements kind of before Roots Tech. They added their Pro Tools, they put some of their DNA behind a, a paywall now, and there's been some big changes at Ancestry. They also added family groups. That's something that they talked a lot about at Roots Tech. One of the other things that came out though is that they're adding additional DNA tools that are coming out here in the next few months. And those are gonna be only available through Pro Tools. And I have a video talking about that as well, so subscribe. One of my personal favorites is they've added more colors. When you're sorting your DNA matches, if you have Pro Tools, and again, yes, you have to pay for it, but if you have Pro Tools, you have more colors available to you to mark your matches with, which I was well overdue and I'm grateful for that. Ancestry now has 25 million DNA tests, so it's a great place to go if you're looking for matches. You, you really wanna be on Ancestry. They're also adding new communities which will help you better break down where your ancestors are from. You're also going to be able to search and filter your DNA matches by their community or ethnicity. Again, part of Pro Tools. So those were Ancestry's kind of big announcements at Roots Tech. Now let's move on to my heritage. My Heritage's biggest announcement that I was the most excited to hear about was their new person page. They really needed this update and it's there. I've got more information on that person page coming in another video too, but that's definitely something that you wanna take a look at because it's gonna make working in their family tree a lot easier for you. In addition, they announced that they have a new website, Old News. That's a newspaper website. Now it does have some of the newspapers that you may find on some of the other websites, but they have additional papers that you will not find on other websites. And we all know if you're in genealogy research, newspapers can make a huge difference for you. So I really recommend you checking that out. Now it is a paid site. And if you have a subscription to MyHeritage, you need an additional subscription to Old News, but that's something that you might wanna look at if you're looking for newspapers, particularly outside of the United States too. Now they have newspapers in the United States, but they also are adding more newspapers outside of the United States. So that might be something that you're interested in. And actually that was one of the things that Find My Past announced at Roots Tech. They didn't have um, a booth at Roots Tech, which they had, but they did have some presenters. And one of the things that they mentioned was that they are the largest collection of the United Kingdom papers, digital newspapers. So if you're looking for newspapers in the United Kingdom, you definitely wanna go hit Find My Past. And on another little note, did you know that Lego's newest creation is a family tree? I love it, it's a little expensive, but I love it. Anyway, I've talked to you a lot about some of the latest things that are happening in the industry. I wanted you to know about them. Subscribe to my channel, and then that way you'll know of some of these videos that I have coming out with more information about some of these latest, greatest things that are coming out. 
So if you are interested in my video about the cemeteries that Family Search just released, you gotta check this out. This is awesome, love it. Thank you so much for Family Search for making searching for your family in cemeteries a lot easier. Have a great day.